As we look toward this coming week's high drama Washington debate over Syria, political moderates outside the nation's capital are watching very closely uh, as the usual left versus right po political alliances fall apart. Joe Gandelman is the editor in chief of the Moderate Voice blog, and it's good to have you back on the show. I remember, uh, you know, during the 2008 election and everything that went with it, we had a group of moderates that came on, and you were one of them, and a very strong voice. Um, you recently posted your frustration with some Republicans, writing that Republicans simply can't argue a case without making it personal and making it all boil to hatred of Barack Obama. Are there examples of that? Oh, quite a few examples of that. You, you, you almost run out of space making up a list these days. I mean, um, uh, what you're saying, first of all, in the week I did a, a piece this week about how you're getting the, the liberal Democrats and Republican isolationists, and now also the Tea Party Republicans, all converging on opposing this. The Republicans who have uh, started to um, uh, have to make it all about Obama and personal. You've got Peggy Noonan writes a column and says that Obama doesn't look like a war president. Harry Truman looked like a war president. You got mm -hmm. Charles Krathenhammer who says um, that uh, he might, he's, he's leaning towards being against going in because Obama doesn't know what he's talking about. Then you have yeah. Senator Jeff Sessions who says that if George Bush had warned Assad, Assad wouldn't have used chemical weapons. There's so many examples going on about it. It's all becoming about Obama and the Obama derangement syndrome on some of the groups on the right. Joe, I want to ask you this. As an independent, what do you think of how so many Democrats seem to be opposing uh, President Obama? We had a California representative on just a short time ago, and I asked her if she would feel responsible if Assad carried out another alleged chemical attack. Um, and, and people said, you know, are you pushing to go to war, Don? It's just a question. So what do you, what do you make of so many Democrats being against the president? Well... First of all, our whole political style now is when somebody asks you a question you don't like or advocates something that, that you don't agree with, you go after them or you imply that there's something about what, the way they're asking it. That's our whole 21st century political style. Secondly, uh, I'm really not surprised with the Democrats because if you look at history, the Democrats have had a way of sort of breaking away with their own party on war issues in particular, almost to the point where it may jettison their whole party and their whole agenda. But I'm a little more it is say to shock over what's happening with the Republicans because you're seeing, if you look at the Gallup poll, uh, the, the Republicans against this almost match the liberals against it. And it's the group that is most divided, with less, least divided with the margin in between, is the moderate group. So uh, I'm not really surprised too much with the Democrats, but I'm surprised that they would... Um, what I'm surprised about the Democrats with is that, first of all, if this is defeated, it's going to pretty much jettison the rest of Obama's term. And then, you know, you also have to ask about what's going to happen with Iran. Uh, what's, what's Iran going to do as far as the nuclear weapons? Well, what will North Korea want to do? What's going to happen with chemical weapons being used elsewhere? There's the moral issues. There's the geopolitical issues. And then there's the other issue, which is what, what's going to happen with, it, with the Democratic Party, because pretty much they're going to be sawing off their president, letting him float out to sea. So I'm yeah. really not surprised as much by the Democrats as I am by what's happening with the Republican Party right now. 